Hi right, guys, welcome to another video. Just a very short one this week because this is predominantly the reason why I bought this Titanium Planet X Tempest bike. Uh, to go through really my touring kit, the stuff which I do camps on, bike camps, touring, real big endurance rides. Because um, I've done a few just predominantly before I actually started this channel. So this year is about doing a few trips. So I'm going to show you through my setup here and hopefully it helps you. So enjoy. As you can see here, obviously behind me, that's a Planet X Titanium Tempest, which I bought and I've done recent reviews on. Seemed to get really good feedback on that. A lot of people have welcomed um, the video which I did on that, which I'll put in the link in the description if you haven't seen that already. But yeah, it's a very, very capable bike. Um, certainly a mile muncher. I've done a few rides, not as many as I'd like to, but coming up soon, I'll be doing some big rides in it, some endurance rides, bike camping, and if I don't get it before, in September I've got a big bike packing adventure into Europe. So you keep your eyes peeled for that one. But yeah, I wanted to show you today really the setup, what I would have as a bike packing tour uh, bike, and yeah, my, predominantly the main thing which I use is my tail fin rack, which I'll show you now. So. Here is my tail fin. I'll get back a little bit so you can see. Um, but yeah, this is come with me some awesome adventures, road adventures, mountain bike, uh, camping. Done all sorts on this, but it's so versatile because I can switch it between my bikes, which I will show you towards the end anyway. So you see how easy and versatile it actually is. But yeah, I've done a. I flew over to Geneva um, on this and rode back. Actually that happened and then lockdown kicked in March 2020, but this is before I was doing videos really, which that would have been an epic video, but yeah, grateful to get back at that because we did get arrested in France <laughs> the day before we got back, but we got let go because we were only about 40 miles away from Dieppe to come back. So this is how easy it is to fit it to your bike. Um, it's so, so simple. I've just packed it out with a few things just so it, you can kind of see it pretty full. It's not a really full but just a few bits to show the shape so very simply all this is very simple system so you've got these pins which i'll show you in a bit more detail up close in a second but clips over their special act through axle that they've got so they're the underpin bits clips around the seat post and locks in and that's as simple as it gets it's on and then let me just steady this a bit and these straps just tighten round as you can see it's well used still covered in mud from my last adventure these are obviously everything on it is adjustable so if you want a lot more and you have an extender which comes out here um which i don't have fitted because on my road bike i've used this for running the mountain bike there's so much clearance anyway possibly on this bike i will use it and um, basically what it does is it mounts and the extend the bag starts here so then it comes out behind the saddle um but yeah it's great but that is the bike as I said that's what it looks like so it's rigid so this is all all of this is carbon fiber these are panier mount racks so for their special panier mounts you can have bag mounts all sorts but yeah they can take a good bit of weight and it's I think it's rated up to about 27 kilos this one I've had this for a couple of uh, three years now actually um, but yeah this is how they mount to the bike so as you can see there it's just a pin there which you pull which releases this arm swings up and it just clamps around the special through axle which just sticks out which i'll show you that in a second on my other bike before i put the mount on but other than that as you see the mount here very very simple just clip there to release pull back the tab 
that's what basically secures it in and it is rock solid so you can go around any shape as you can see the the v mount just here that can go into an aero post flat um, round post anything you want really but it's so well balanced and as you can see just produces another triangle basically out the back so yeah so like i said i've done the trip uh which i flew over to geneva and cycle back with a friend i think that was about 640 miles in six days um could have done it quicker but first few days we just kind of did about it was 100 odd miles first day then like 85 90 95 then lockdown kicked in and all the ports were closing um and ended up absolutely smashing out the last two days so the last day was horrific it was 140 miles but really really cold pouring down rain all day and we had to make that ferry that was the last ferry that was actually leaving france um that wasn't a transport ferry and we couldn't get into paris to get the eurostar to get back so it was the last ferry was dieppe to new haven and our trip was actually planned to do cherbourg back to paul because i live in bournemouth so it was only a couple of miles away um, but yeah we ended up going to dieppe to new haven and it, like i said it was by the time we got to dieppe i think it was two degrees absolutely pouring down with rain and for 140 miles we had about a 25 mile an hour headwind so i think we only averaged 14 miles an hour all day so it's 10 hours of absolutely slogging it and to really cap that off because it was locked down we actually got arrested as i mentioned um about 40 miles from dieppe and i just kept saying just phone your embassy phone your embassy phone your embassy um right ordeal it was they eventually let us go got to dieppe and oh my god that was the hardest ride of my life that day the whole trip was amazing but that day with the headwind cold wet the stress of just having to get to the border was mental but anyway uh, many more trips like that because i plan on doing that quite a lot flying out to countries um and just riding back so predominantly obviously ideally getting back to places like santander cherbourg but places where i can get a port quite close back to home um which could be portsmouth paul um anywhere around there really but obviously i'm quite open to do others so let me know where you think would be a great trip kind of for a week trip so really anything up to i'd probably say 800 miles max because then that allows kind of 100 miles a day and then a couple of days big pushes which i'm quite good with anyway so that'd be fine um, but yeah amazing trips like that but yeah the other trip which i did um was the king alfred way which i did on my mountain bike um i'll put some pictures up now of that trip and what the bike looked like on that because i've actually sold that bike now which i mentioned previously in the video because i bought this bike really to replace it and this is more than capable and i've done good few rides on this um uh, did a cyclocross race actually the other day on it first ever cyclocross race that was really hard work on grass but really coped well and handled the corners really really well with the standard panorama comet hard pack tires on and amazing loved it but yeah bog standard everything and just smashed it for 45 minutes and was broken so much to do with fitness um but yeah bike handling skills kind of helped me a bit but didn't get me out of the tree because so i certainly was nowhere near winning um i was just happy to not be last to be honest it was just good good laugh but yeah as you can see it's a beautiful setup and just a great bike all-round bike this is the mile mantra i wanted the setup the the tail fin rack sits in it nicely and I'll probably have other little bit if I do really really big tours I'll probably put my frame bag on there which you'll see from the mountain bike pictures that I had and got a bar bag as well from Atticus Cycling which is really good actually and nice size not too big fits just inside the cables which is really good um, and yeah amazing but let me show you what it looks like now on my road bike because and I'll switch it over between the two and show you how easy it is to just switch not so simple. As I said, I'd show you what it looks like, the axle. So that's a real close-up of the axle. So it sticks out that side. Um, 
comes all the way through, big thread, there's spaces so it fits nicely and as you can see, same the other side, so easy, good throw axle, solid and yeah just means that I can switch between the bikes really really simply. Right now as you see this is how easy it is to switch them over, so pop in the safety there, which will open that. comes off. Make sure you hold on to this because otherwise it will just swing round and hit your mech. Pop the silver tabs. Full of a bit of mud from my last trip. They pop really really simply normally so I need, do need to give this a bit of a clean. Um, and that's it. So that's it off. Obviously all in one piece. All your stuff's still away in a completely waterproof bag then really really simply very similar as how i showed you before is just pop it on there pop it on there and even though my post is a flat back post because this is my Cervelo r5 that's my road bike still fits straight on as you can see straight on and done awesome looking bikes same kind of look but as you can see on my road bike is a much more aggressive position because this is a race bike so much more clearance here so you can see it's underneath not even in the way but even if i had this much because you can actually make this bag kind of I would say up to about here. So it's good, really, really good amount of storage. So you can put it way up above your saddle. Um, but then I'd have that extender post on there. So it would kind of, like I said, bring it out to about here. And then it kind of goes up and out. So really, really good, solid piece of equipment. But yeah, Telfin makes some awesome stuff. And one day maybe they'll sponsor me. I doubt it. They've got lots and lots of R&D um, guys. Chris Hall in the last video, which I did. He is an R&D. That Francis Cade, Lawrence Carpenter, the ones I kind of follow on YouTube. As you can see, it's all mounted underneath there. Good solid mount. Um, yeah, let me undo the straps um, and I'll show you get inside the bag so these obviously these straps pop off just hang down so you've got that zip which is just for a nice simple pocket only down to there a little waterproof pocket fully fully waterproof and um, and i'll show you the other side it's a bit flopped down at the minute because i've untied it this side you've got full length zip but that actually allows you to get into the bag so as you can see there i've got my key gear chair inside um and for a bit of context all i've got in here at the minute which makes it about half full i've got my out kitty lamb bivy kilos gear outdoor chair uh, small sleeping bag a little foam mat i've got my sleeping pad as well so there's lots and lots in there but as you can see you can get in there if you want to get into the bottom of it zip it straight back up um, and then if i show you a little bit about how to get into it so these two ends pop and it's basically just a waterproof dry bag so as you can see it goes nice and high fill up there i'm sure a lot of people have seen these before in other videos of like the bigger youtubers like francis Caden and all those but as you can see just straight in fit all sorts in there uh put some pictures up um about the road trip i did in france which you'll see the setup there that was really fully loaded and they had all sorts on it that was an amazing trip so yeah great great setups they're so solid and the one thing which you don't notice about this is there's no tail waggle so it, it doesn't waggle like you know like the uh saddle packs which they go onto your saddle rails and they're just swinging around and it's 
I don't really like them, to be honest. Um, it's just swinging around constantly. You really feel that if you're out there saddling the hills. So if you're going up through the Alps and stuff like that, yeah, I wouldn't want that at all. Um, great, they're really, really cheap kind of setup because it is easy and it's very easy to take off. Whereas Telfin are pretty expensive, but then personally, you've bought it, you bought it once, the customer service is amazing. Like you ever want to speak to them, really easy to get hold of them. They're very, very helpful. So you, you do get what you pay for with this. Um, and if any parts at all break at all, they'll send you out new parts, straight, like straight up. Really, really simple um, for that, but it's solid. To me, it's so solid, you don't notice it behind you, especially when you're in the saddle, just powering down the roads or trails. When I did it on my mountain bike through uh, King Alfred Way, no point did it move at all. It was solid on there the whole way, that's rough in some places, doing some of the south down ways, Surrey Hills, uh, the Ridgeway between Marlborough and Goring. Um, is there, that's rough as hell, it's like a washboard. Solid, it never, has never let me down yet, so touch wood, it never does. Um, but it's an amazing piece of kit. But yeah, you, that's basically what my uh, sort of bike packing endurance trips I'll be doing. Um, oh, yeah, another one that I did I also did, which you would have seen probably in the first videos that I actually uploaded, proper videos, was the Three Peaks uh, cycling challenge, which I drove to Snowdon, left my van up near there, um, climbed Snowdon, rode to Scaffold Pike, stayed there overnight, climbed Scaffold Pike, uh, rode up to Hamilton, then did Hamilton to Glasgow, no. So I did Snowdon to Scaffold, climbed Scaffold the next morning after I stayed there, rode, but actually oh, I had the mechanical, um, which my front caliper was knackered. So I needed to, and I ended up doing about 60 miles with a completely binding front brake, which nearly broke me. I don't know how I carried on, but luckily there was a bike shop open that allowed me to use all their tools, realign the caliper, Pushed the pistons back out, did a bleed, worked brilliantly. Um, and then I went from there, next day I think I did 100 miles to Hamilton, stayed there and then did Hamilton all the way to Fort William, um, which was about 110 miles. That was in a thunderstorm as well, horrific. And then climbed Ben Nevis and then came back. That was a off the cuff spare of the moment trip. So I thought about it three weeks before, got nominated by someone on LinkedIn about it and just did it. Just, surprised myself because I've never really hiked before so but I, mountains are, I love so I know I've been in the Alps it's amazing so yeah loads of different trips um, I intend on doing things like the Transcambrian Way um, on the gravel bike on this like I said I've got one coming up in September over in Europe which I think is five days but I'm gonna put that's probably gonna be five six hundred miles roughly um, and that's going to be on the gravel bike, not the road bike. So we'll see how that feels on 100 mile a day rides. Um, but I'm sure it'll be fine because it's so comfy. So the comfort will outweigh the speed. So my road bike's much, much quicker. But yeah, so comfortable. Such a nice looking bike as well. Just put spur you on a bit more by looking at it. Um, but yeah, well, I hope you enjoyed the video anyway, because that was a really brief just look at my bikes and the setup I've got of the Tempest there and hopefully you see it in many many adventures coming up but it is summer now so this weekend uh, while you're watching this I'd have actually camped in Dartmoor um, it's going to be very stormy so today was 27 degrees in Bournemouth it's really hot and I can't believe I'm going to be packing my wet weather gear to go to Dartmoor um, the stupid things we do eh but yeah it's going to be amazing it's going to stay in there do a bit of hiking up to a couple of the tours, stay in a forest out there near a reservoir, have a little swim in the reservoir if possible. And yeah, that'll be my next video that's out. So keep an eye out for that. So I hope you enjoyed. Any questions at all about this setup, the tail fin, the bikes, let me know. Other words, you have a good day.